I'm finding myself leaning in towards the full beat. Why am I blending my highlighter with a beauty blender? <laughs> maybe you, maybe you, maybe you. I consider my relationship with makeup a pretty healthy one and I'm pretty sure that's because of how I grew up. So fun fact about me, I actually grew up in Kenya and um, out there I was not allowed to wear makeup going to school so I never really thought of makeup as a thing that I needed to wear every day until I moved to America when I was 18. Schools were really strict about like what you could wear to school. We all had school uniforms, our hair had to be a certain way, jewelry, like these were about as big as my earrings could be, this big or like studs. So Kenyan schools were pretty strict about how we needed to look. But now looking back at it, I'm kind of grateful. The first time I actually remember putting on like makeup for an event was in high school and it was when we had to go for all those like Sadie Hawkins, um, homecoming, prom, all those events is when I actually felt like I needed to put on makeup and even then like the makeup that I wore then was like eyeliner, the winged liner was really in at that point and um, mascara, we would do eyeshadow, nothing on the face and then a lipstick so that was the extent of the makeup at that point. When I think back on it I don't even recall like the adults in my life having to wear makeup like every day like it is out here. Um, my mom would wear makeup like to work but she would just do her brows and lipstick I think it was very basic and all my aunties were like that obviously they would put on their faces for events and stuff like that but I don't recall any of the adults in my life actually wearing like a full face of makeup foundation mascara whatever every day so then fast forward to 18 I graduate um, high school I decide I'm going to America for college and I chose Miami. I walked into orientation, all these girls, I was like, wow, full faces. Okay, I thought we we're just going to orientation. I guess I have to step my game up. And it doesn't help that I went to Miami. I feel like there was an added pressure because Miami is known for people who, you know, just like to look a little bit more elevated. Everything is fake, the butts, the hair, the nails, everything. So I felt a lot of pressure. So after that rude awakening, I was like, eh, okay, girl, you gotta step up your game just a little bit more. Um, but thankfully, this was around the 2013 to 2016 era of YouTube. Beauty gurus were in plenty. All I had to do was get on YouTube and figure out like what I'm going to do to try and fix this face. So 2013 was really when I started doing makeup, but at the same time, like I ended up doing what I saw my aunties and my mom doing, which was just like a little bit of brow or a little bit of lipstick. And I added mascara to the mix and that was my everyday makeup routine. I can't find my contour sticks, so my face is gonna give one dimension today, but that's okay. So fast forward to a couple of years after graduation and I start a job as a high school teacher. And now I'm seeing all these girls come into my classes, full beat, I'm talking lashes, everything, blush, highlighter, coming to school in the morning. And honestly, some of them slay, but it makes me really sad that they feel the pressure to have to do all of that just to come to school. And don't get me wrong, I'm not by any means saying that you shouldn't be wearing makeup in high school or anything like that. I love the fact that these girls are actually allowed to wear makeup and able to express themselves in that way if they choose to. However, too often I see it becoming a point of insecurity like, oh my gosh, I don't have mascara, oh my gosh, I don't have foundation, I can't do this. Like. It's an insecurity thing and that is unfortunate. I feel bad about that because if they grew up how I did, I don't feel like they would have the pressure that they feel. Like my desire for them is balance, honestly. My desire is that they are able to express themselves with makeup as much as they want to, but at the same time, without it, feel secure enough to walk out of the house. Feel secure enough to know that, hey, this doesn't make me who I am, you know? Especially now living in Atlanta, like, girl, if you put the lashes down, I promise you it'll be okay. If you left the house without lashes, I promise you it would be okay. Is the bottom lash mascara giving or is it giving spider? What do you think? So fast forward to present day, I turn 30 next year, by the way, which is crazy, but I'm finding myself leaning more into wanting to put more of a full face of makeup on. And it's fine because I know that I don't rely on it. So I have a question that I'd like you guys to ask yourselves. Why do you wear makeup? Is it because you enjoy it? Is it because of how it makes you feel? Or are you trying to mask an insecurity? Sound off in the comments, and if you watched this far, I truly appreciate you. Love ya!